Today is move-in day. All the freshmen are moving in today. Yeah. We're members of Phi Sigma Sigma. We're helping move in the freshmen. I'm pretty excited. A little nervous, but I'm excited too. I've only been here one day, but I've already made such great friends. Oh. I'm not letting go. I want to make him proud. I'm really already happy. proud. <laughs> yes. This is where I want to be. WPI as a whole is one big community. It's one big family. You feel like you're friends with everyone. You feel like you're connected to everyone. I see WPI pretty much as a melting pot. No matter what ethnicity, no matter what background, you know, so many different people coming together in like in one perfect harmony. I'm Monalina Binni and I'm from Bangladesh. From Brazil. Vietnam. From China. Romania. India. Tbilisi, Georgia. Cyprus. And I'm from Caracas, Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> we're a culture of many different people and we're from all over the world, but we're all decided to make WPI our home. There's a very social atmosphere here at WPI and I don't think that a lot of people are expecting that. Just like just being on campus, you feel good, you feel safe. Everyone is always, always having fun. You know, we're a campus school, but we're also a city school. We have the whole city of Worcester to go and experience and explore. There's such a wide variety of people and a wide variety of clubs and organizations where you don't have to be that one stereotype. You can be the jock and the nerd at the same time and still be cool. What I found different from my high school was that at WPI, Everyone is there because they love to learn. The WPI academic year consists of four seven-week terms. Each of those terms, students are taking three courses, enabling them to focus more deeply on fewer things. Project opportunities are built into all four years of the WPI curriculum. My name is Marco Villar. I'm from San Diego, California, and I innovate building materials. What I would like to go into is finding alternative methods that make a building less harmful to the environment. I knew that with WPI's project-based curriculum, I'd be able to get that hands-on experience. You get the chance to apply what you learned in a classroom out onto the field. I'm Bree, and I innovate infant respiratory rate monitors. For biomedical engineering design class, you're presented with a problem. So ours was to create a device that will help prevent sudden infant death syndrome. It's so incredible to have something that I can look at and say, I did that. I created this in seven weeks. My name is Chelsea Ross Miller. I'm from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I innovate regenerative medicine. I've wanted to be a doctor since I was 13. It's one of those few things in my life that hasn't changed. So I didn't want to go to college where it was going to be back to Scantron tests. I wanted to go to a place where I could actually do something with what I was learning. You really have that opportunity all the time to be innovative and to apply your knowledge. And so that's important to me, you know, even getting my biology degree, to be working towards something that's going to be benefiting healthcare in the long run. I'm Chloe and I innovate animal behavior. The problem that we're solving with these experiments on a global scale is how are we going to keep our agriculture from failing our own population? So how are we going to keep that crop pollination up, keep our citizens fed? I have a lot of lab experiences, I log a lot of hours here, and I get that hands-on experience that I need, which is exactly how I learn. My name is John, I'm from New Jersey, and I innovate robotics. Frankly, the whole robotics program itself is innovative. We think of robotics like a three-legged stool. There's one leg that's the mechanical engineering side, one leg that's the electrical and computer engineering side, and then one leg that's the computer science side. You become really well-rounded, and that's what companies love. I never really thought that I was gonna be building robots from day one in my robotics class, but it, I was. <laughs> In their junior year, students embark on the interactive project, what we call the IQP. More than 50% of our students 
do their IQP globally. I have been working in a community called Machini Wong. We are located in Cape Town, South Africa. Right now, I am standing in one of the community members' shacks. These shacks are amazing, but there's no light. They're all metal, so how is any light going to get in, ever? We're engineering students, you know, we, we, we like to have a little creative juices flowing, so we started sketching out some ideas, and I'm still blown away by the fact that a bottle of water, bleach, and just put it in a hole in your roof can allow so much light into a shack that you would be able to replace a 50 watt light bulb with this bottle of water. It's incredible. It's what the community really wanted and it's a new and innovative way to do it. You saw as the room lit up, the faces of the community members lit up. With our project, we're hoping to establish a socioeconomic baseline for two communities on Cheer Island. We're especially focusing on the fishing and whether they are fishing sustainably. This project is particularly innovative because there's not any history or any historical data about Cheetah Island. So through our project, we're hoping to gain a lot of information and basically help improve the conditions on the island and help people overcome their poverty levels. Welcome to Venice! This is the measuring stick that's used to measure the water level. These are actually devices that we made ourselves. The work here we're doing is really going to make a difference because, you know, it's giving Venice a way to monitor their canals. And Venice's canals are like their roads. It's how they get around. It's how they, you know, they transport things. The roads on Nantucket are in really bad condition. We're figuring out how to make the roads accessible for emergency vehicles. I innovate public safety on Nantucket. Every minute counts. A fire doubles in size every minute. If an emergency vehicle can't access a house on a road, they might not be able to put out the fire. This particular project looks at an innovative approach to dealing with a real-life problem. We're out here in Shrewsbury, Mass, working with the town officials. We're locating outfalls where rainwater, when it falls into impervious grounds, WPI as a whole, with its project-based curriculum, really teaches you how to work with a group and how to work with others. You know, allows us to kind of think outside the box, you know, do something that we would normally never do. Music on campus is huge. There are so many different groups, whether you're a singer, you're a dancer, you're an instrumentalist. So WPI has, of course, a very strong academic music program, but also with music technology in labs a lot of times. The real buzz for me is seeing students who are pretty tech-minded come in and explore another side of themselves. One of the most unique things about WPI and their music program is their ability to bring in technology with music. So we're really on the cutting edge when it comes to technology here. I have the opportunity to develop something that, you know, has never been done before. My name is Brendan. I'm from Suffields, Connecticut, and I innovate digital music. So something really innovative that we have been doing in the music department here, we've worked on a completely digital library of all of our choral repertoire to be accessed by your iPad or your tablet. It completely eliminates the need for paper. I love to sing, act, dance, do all those kinds of things. I think I was really surprised by how involved you can get on this campus. Wow, I can do everything I like to do, you know? All right, so it's five minutes to show. We're about ready to take our places. There's a full crowd out there. Oh, gotta get out there, all right. <laughs>
The best thing about being a WPI student is that you're finally with a community of people that have the same passion and values that you do. They may not realize it, but they're changing the world as their college students. They don't have to wait until they're out of college to change the world. It's all about learning, working together, becoming that engineer who will change the world someday. You honestly have the chance to make the change that you want to make. I'm going to try to improve my community. And then eventually, who knows, I will change the world. We're no longer students. We're thinkers, researchers, and we're innovators pushing the world to become something different and something better. We innovate everything. We innovate everything. 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 We innovate everything. We innovate everything. We innovate everything.